Hi everybody, uh, so today I'll be teaching you how to write place cards. Um, we're going to be using black ink on a white place card and we're going to show you how to mix up white ink to use on a darker place card. So to begin with, um, I like to use Moon Palace Sumi ink. Um, I just think it's, it's, a, it's a high quality ink in my opinion um, and it just looks really nice and it's easy to write with. Um, I tend to dec decant it out into a smaller bottle just for ease of popping the nib in the pot. The place cards I use are always 350 gram, 350 GSM, um, and I use Colour Plan. Uh, this one is uh, bright white, I believe, um, and they always come pre creased, so they're definitely my favourite place cards to use. They handle um, ink really, really well. So, to begin with, as a beginner, what you're going to want to do is you can either use a laser guide or you can get a nice ruler and just draw in a baseline. So I find this ruler is really good for popping a baseline in. You kind of want to aim for just a bit lower than the centre. And just put a very, very light hairline in there. Okay, now when you're writing a place card, you don't want to write write from the edge to the edge if you can help it. Um, I find, if, especially in writing names like Ian, you kind of end up being too far to the left. So go a bit further over than what you think. So um, believe it or not, I always find Ian a bit of a tricky one. So as a beginner, what you're going to want to do is write in pencil first, and then go over with your nib and ink, and then when it dries, give it a couple hours, especially with Sumi ink, give it a couple hours to dry and then rub it out. So you can either use a HB pencil or a mechanical pencil. So let's do, um, let me just show you what I mean by Ian, for example. So sometimes you'll get writing and you think, I'm just gonna do this. And you're quite happy and you find it's too far to the left um, and it just doesn't work. It's just, it's not very professional and your couples won't be very happy. So let's just draw another line in here. Again, just below the center. So it gives you enough space above there. Okay, when you're right in, just go a bit further along than you think you need to. So go to here. And if you find, you know, maybe it still can be a little bit further to the left, you can just fix that with a nice exit stroke. And now I'm going to use my Sumi ink. What I tend to do when I do any calligraphy is I have a scrap piece of paper under my ink pot and it's called a scratch sheet and what I do is even though I dip my nib in my ink and I scrape off any excess ink I can find it still can be a bit too much ink on the nib um, and I pull the ink around it doesn't look very nice so what I like to do is put a nib in the ink pot scrape off any excess ink and just do a couple of down strokes and it gets rid of that excess, extra excess ink that I don't want and keep that to the side. So here we go. And I'm not too fussed if I don't completely follow the pencil lines, as long as I roughly get where I want to go and it looks nice, I'm happy with that. And that's how I do the place card, white place card, with black ink. When you get a bit more comfortable with things like this and you write lots of them you'll find that you can just write them out without thinking too much. Okay so when it comes to writing on darker place cards you have the option um, of various types of white ink. Um, you have gouache that you can add water to and make your own ink. You have a Liquitex acrylic ink and you have a Dr. PH Martin's bleed proof white. I um, tends to prefer the Dr. Martin's um, Bleed Proof White because it sits nicely on top of the card. It's, it gives you a really um, bright white and it's not transparent. Um, whereas I find sometimes Liquitex can be a little bit too thin for me. Um, and the same with the gouache. Like, this is really the, the one that works really well. When you get these pots, um, you can either buy one that's sort of, I think, already made up, but I prefer to use this one because I like to mix it to the consistency I can write with. So obviously it comes out and it's really hard, you know, um, so what you have to do is mix it up. So get a little spoonful, a little spoon, and pop it in your pot, it's going to go in. Pop it in your pot, okay, maybe a little bit more. And then you get some distilled water, you use distilled water because if you use normal tap water it can go mouldy and get very, very stinky. 
which you don't really want. So distilled water. Now some people say to mix it to the consistency of um, double cream, but I like it a little bit thinner. What you're trying to get is a consistency that it's opaque when you write on your dark card, um, but also thin enough that it comes out you know, quite fluidly out of your nib. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit here. You don't need to add anything else. I think some people say you need to add gum arabic, but I prefer it like this. Oops, a bit thick there. So we keep going. There we go, move this to the side. And this will keep for such a long time. Now, if it gets a bit too clumpy and a spoon doesn't work, you use the end of your nib, because that gets, okay, gets into everything. Here we go. And you can kind of see that's quite a nice consistency already. And we'll just test it on a scrap piece of card. What you want, consistency-wise, is to be able to achieve your hairlines. So, yeah, you can come down, that's fine. But you want to have nice hairlines. You can see that's what I've achieved there. So that's how you use your ink. Now, similarly, with the white place cards, you can mock up your black place cards. You can use, you know, a white pencil, white mechanical pencil, or a normal pencil. So I'm going to just draw a line through there. And we're just going to write a nice little name. So again, try not to go edge to edge. Always leave, you know, start from a centimetre in. What I tend to do is I dip below the baseline with my capital and I don't draw my capital letter. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll get our ink, our nib. And don't forget to do a little scratch sheet, get rid of any excess ink. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of paper under my hand. So when I'm writing like this, I've got a nice smooth surface to move my hand up and down. It's a very warm day here and it's already catching on the table. Okay, so we do a little scratch sheet, make sure there's not too much ink on the nib. We're gonna hold our card at the top, so don't hold it down here, you usually hold it at the top. Take your time, concentrate. Now with white ink, just make sure you constantly refresh that nib, load it with ink because you don't want it to start going transparent halfway through the name. And again, I would just wait for this to dry. Um, again, use a soft rubber. Don't push too hard because you don't take the ink off with you. So a Staedtler rubber, a white or black one, I prefer to use because I find that they're quite soft and they don't affect the paper. So that's how you do your place cards. Um, obviously it'd be fantastic if you can like this video um, and subscribe. More tutorials are available on my Patreon. There are a year of videos that have been recorded from flourish calligraphy to ornamental calligraphy. Um, and it'd be great to see you there. So see you soon, bye. -bye.